Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's look at the characteristic graphs of fourth order polynomials. So again, we have the situation where the coefficient in front of the highest order uh, term, x to the fourth, is either positive or it is negative. In either case, the most likely scenario is that it looks kind of like a w, either a straight up w or an upside down w. <clears throat> so this is where a is equal to a is a number larger than zero and there a is a number smaller than zero but those are not the only ways in which the graph could exhibit itself because of the fourth order polynomial notice that this is also a fourth order polynomial and notice that in this particular case the graph looks just like a parabola and if this is a negative x to the fourth power it also looks like a parabola which is upside down the only difference is that it probably grows much more quickly and it tends to be a skinnier parabola because it's x to the fourth power. Other scenarios could be here where you see that it looks like a w, but instead of having the additional one, two, three, four roots, which is typical for a fourth order uh, polynomial, and here, uh, here you only have three roots. You have one, here it just touches the x-axis, there you have a third root, and then if you look over here, notice that there's only two roots, and sometimes you have a situation where you notice here that there's a minimum value, a maximum value, and a minimum value, just like here you have a, a minimum, a maximum, and a minimum value, but here, notice you only have one maximum value, and here we have what we call an inflection point. It, where it was going to go down, but then it stops and then continues up in this way so that you really don't have a maximum value there. So in this case, there's only two roots. And of course, when the whole, when the graph is upside down, you can have a similar situation in the opposite direction, one root, two roots, and here you have what we call an inflection point. So fourth order polynomials can look, um, can have graphs that look drastically different, but the general shape is like this when A is positive, it's like this when A is negative. You can have as many as four roots when the line crosses the x-axis four times, the graph crosses it four times, or like this where you, this doesn't cross the x-axis, so those two roots are eliminated, but you still have the two on the outside. And then in this case, notice there's only one root right here. In this case, there's only one root. In this case, there are three roots. Here, there are two roots. So with a fourth order polynomial, you can have anywhere from one to two to three to four roots depending upon how the polynomial is situated. And again, we're going to learn all the techniques to figure out how to graph these various polynomials. And that's how it's done.